Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and just staying productive. So, uh, you know, this is a channel where I give it to you straight, no uh, chaser. But if there are some things in this message that do not resonate with you, then leave those messages at the door. Leave them on the floor for somebody else that will come along and pick them up. I promise, I guarantee you. Also, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button for me and like share and subscribe to my channel i would greatly appreciate it and uh la, 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 i think that's about it capricorn so let's go ahead and get started with your reading so let's see where your energy is all right y'all better do the damn thing um cappies stand your ground stand your ground no matter who's around okay um shadow <laughs> So, some of you could be out there uh, needed to stand your ground against um, some people in your life. Uh, whoever these people are, family, friends, situations, um, lovers, it doesn't matter. You all know these are just energies. You put these energies wherever they fit uh, best uh, in your life right now. Um, but standing the ground and maybe, and sometimes standing that ground means needing to block something out. So somebody could be blocking out people. Um, as I said, just blocking out and just setting those boundaries for them. With this shadow card coming out, I'm going to read this, uh, two ways. So this is saying that somebody needing to block, needing to stand up against themselves, um, you know, in their shadow aspect, because we uh, we all have the shadow side of us. We have the light side, we have the shadow side. So that shadow side is that side that, you know, we have the less than positive traits, you know, the less than uh, stellar things, you know, going on that we try to keep under wraps or that we try to change. Um, you know, it could be something as simple, excuse me, my damn allergies. <laughs> running already and I ran out of allergy medication um but I should be getting some more this week or something but um uh what was I saying oh that shadow side right there is is just it could be something as simple as um <sighs> procrastination for instance, so it's somebody who just procrastinates a lot, so they're working on it. So that's like one shadow side. That's some negative part, um, you know, of them that they're trying to not necessarily kill. Well, kill off that part, but then in order to kill off, you embrace it. You embrace it. Um, you accept it, and then you work on it to work yourself out of the shadow. So it's saying that okay, these are traits and these are things or whatever it is, you know that we all have that we exhibit the thing about it is once we acknowledge and we work through it then we fight against it we fight against going back to those old patterns or we fight against going back to those old ways whatever those things were um the shadow side could be even just the dealing with certain people or dealing with certain situations things toxic situations things of that nature um like I said, just these uh, hidden, these hidden things right there. So somebody needing to block themselves, you know, stand up against themselves, you know, if they're having that issue right there. But then um, also, as I said, the other way that I want to read this with other people, you know, this shadow side, this is about secrets. This is about the unknown, <laughs> you know. This is about something that is unknown, something that's not been revealed. So, someone could be... Hmm, okay, interesting. We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we have the Four of Wands. So, as I said, someone needed to stand their ground against themselves, but also standing their ground, um, you know, and standing up and defending themselves from any sneaky behavior, anything that they do cannot see or anything that they cannot or how do I want to say this? If they're not if they're not getting a good feeling about it, if they're not thinking if they're not thinking that things are on the up and up pretty much, if they still know or feel that there is more to the story or more to a situation or something, um, this is saying, okay, 
Don't allow yourself to get caught up in the situation before you get the full scope or before you get all of the information. So whether this is um, someone who needs to block themselves or who needs to stand their ground and really defend themselves against this, then that's what it's saying. With this Two of Pentacles, we're dropping something. But <clears throat> you know what this Four of Wands, because that talks about like... Um, happiness and celebration uh you know just like a party <laughs> you know or something of that nature so mm, okay inter damn it my nose i'm like we would get on camera and my nose would start running right now but i'm not stopping um somebody okay this is interesting because this four of wands, as I said, it's like a celebration. It's like, a, think of people just coming together to celebrate something, you know, whether, whatever this event is or whatever. It's just happiness. Um, it's everybody pretty much ha coming together. So... Okay. That's interesting. All right. Somebody dropped some kind of... This is dealing with somebody's home or something that made somebody happy. I feel as if they had to drop it. Okay. All right. That's what it is. Because I'm trying to make it make sense. <laughs> they had... All right. Here we go. <laughs> Somebody needing to, as I said, stand up for themselves, drop some situation, um, you know, create some kind of boundary, create some kind of boundary with some circumstance or with some uh, situation where they are not seeing things clearly. So because they've not seen things clearly or because they've not seen um, everything, you know, up front then this is causing someone to say, you know what, I, since I cannot see where this is going, or I can't see what exactly is happening here, I'm going to, I'm not going to focus on this energy. So we're dropping this, um, we're dropping this situation. So whatever it was that was making someone happy or whatever it was that was making someone, um, someone feels some kind of joy or you know just wanted to celebrate or in some way now they're having to restrict themselves that's what it is okay they're having to restrict themselves i feel <clears throat> all right you know what this is i feel like this is um <laughs> i feel like this is like a study another study of self somebody standing the ground restricting themselves you know from uh, situations that you know, maybe social situations or something of that nature. They're having to drop this because they're needing to um, work on the shadow side. They're needing to work on uh, maybe some addictions or work on some um, hidden aspects or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go with Material Harvest. Um, they need to... They need to work on focusing on their income, their coins, their money, their stability, their uh, relationship, their whatever it is. The relationship with self is what I'm getting because, again, here we go. This is like solo dolo right there. Um, you know, standing, like I said, we're working on ourselves. Somebody is here working on ourselves, working on their shadow side. Them working on their shadow side is causing them to have to put other things aside. Okay, now, if that makes sense, them, they, they have to put other things aside because now we're in this state of needing to balance, needing to bring things in together because I feel as if somebody, um, you know, they're working on something. Like I said, they're working on their coins. They're working on their stability. They're working on their foundation, whatever it is that they're working on. This is going to require someone to remain focused and very diligent 
Because I'm looking at both of these cards, and here we go, 911. So if you've been seeing 911 a lot, hey, this message might be for you. It's 911. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, so this is saying, okay, this is an emergency. This is for you. You need to focus. We need to um, get focused on our craft and get focused on whatever it is that we're doing. You know, right here, pay attention to what is in front of you. So this is what somebody is doing. Somebody needs to pay attention to what's in front of them and drop, um, you know, other situations. These situations, yes, they will still be there, okay? If they were meant for you, they're meant for you. If not, hey, that's just how life goes sometimes. But the thing is, the more and more that we're trying to uh, focus on those, um, those parts and not really... Focusing on ourselves and focusing on what's in front of us, then we're losing balance. We're continuously staying out of balance right there. So now is the time to really just hunker down, focus on yourself. Um, you know, if there's a relationship of some sort, because this does talk about a healthy, uh, like a healthy, happy, you know, relationship, um, things of that nature. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be any, well... Any relationship, love, family, friends, uh, work, school, it doesn't matter. Um, these things are needing to be dropped for now, or something is needs to be dropped, uh, you know, in order to really focus on the task at hand here is what I'm what I'm saying. Yeah, because we're holding ourselves up. We're being stagnant. We have the wheel of fortune. We have somewhere we need to go. We don't want to hold up our blessings, okay? Because this comes out in the reverse. So, and here we go with the queen of pentacles. So, yeah, it's throwing off somebody's stability. There is... <laughs> the more and more that they focus on this um, relationship or whatever this partnership or this... Whatever this was... The more and more that they were focusing on that, the more and more that they were kind of losing themselves is what I'm saying. So, this is someone who's needing to come into balance with themselves in order to get things going, in order to get uh, the wheel flowing again. Because things might seem a bit stagnant. Things might seem a bit um, like they're not really moving and it's just... Uh, a bit wonky and scattered and all over the place, but that's because somebody is needing to, as I said, uh, stand up to themselves, pretty much have some willpower against themselves, resist, you know, some things right there because now all they're doing is just holding up themselves. So the universe, the world, it has plenty of things out here, blessings and just the material harvest in whatever um, aspect to give. However, if we are, um, chill, okay, I'm like, however, if um, we are, we are too busy juggling other things and not really staying focused on the task before us, then all we're going to do is keep ourselves held up, keep ourselves held up here and just be even more unstable. Um, you know, with this queen of pentacles coming out, <laughs> it's so funny because it, again, it talks about mental stability as well. Um, so mental stability and financial stability. So what I'm feeling is somebody's financial instability right here might be throwing them off. Um, Yeah, and because they recognize this now, maybe this now this is why they're saying, okay, maybe it is time to drop this situation that I've been focusing too much on and really just focus on myself. Because, yeah, both of these cars, these two um, people in this car, this man and then this angel right here, they have their eyes closed. They are focused. They are, uh, they, they have things in front of them. They are working on the things in front of them. So this is pretty much saying, don't worry about these external things. These things will always be there. These things will work themselves out somehow. However, we need to focus on right here what is, what is in front of you now. There are things that need your attention now. Ooh, that's too many cards. I'm going to take them. 
But here we go with the waiting game. So yes, somebody in this mental confusion, just going around and around, you know, just waiting for something to happen or waiting for some things to pick off or to kick off. But the thing is, um, you know, they need to, they, they're the ones who need to make this decision. Uh, pretty much. They're the ones who need, it's like, should I get off the pot right there? It's like, should I get the pot? And with the third eye chakra, they already know this. Their intuition has already been seeing this. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll say something else, but hold on. We have the six of pentacles comes out in the reverse. The eight of pentacles comes out in the reverse. So you see all the pentacles. We have the two of pentacles. Then we have the queen of pentacles. The six and the eight of pentacles. All in the reverse. This is all about stability. This is all about stability. Uh, foundations. Um, health. Gain. Working. Wealth. So somebody needs to get to work. Somebody needs to get to work and, you know, stop, uh, stop giving to situations are to things that are not equally giving to them because it is one-sided. This is one-sided at this point. So now all someone is doing is wasting their energy or wasting their time or wasting their resources, um, putting it into other situations when they need to be investing and working on um, their own material harvest right here. Like I said, at this point, we're the ones holding ourselves up you know, from here with this wheel of fortune turning. So, you know, if someone is feeling as if, you know, they might be having a bit of bad luck or they're just down on their, down on their luck or something, you know, which it happens, but sometimes we need to just get out of our own way. And when we start releasing things that no longer need to be there and when we drop certain things, whether this is um, family, it could, look, let's, let's talk real here, Capricorn. Sometimes family can be a distraction. Sometimes family can be a distraction. Friends, um, lovers, things of that nature. So this is saying, you know, in, in all situations, they're going to be different for everybody. So, of course, you know, if you have a family and you're taking care of this and that, you can't just say, okay, I'm done. I'm done with my family. Now, look, some people have done that. But, hey, look, that's neither here nor there. But for the ones who are not in that position, what I'm saying is... Somehow, you are going to have to, you know, maneuver around and find some kind of way. If it's something that you know for sure, you can drop, that you can leave alone, that, you know, you can pick up later on, or that is going to take care of itself later on, then, okay, that those are the easiest ones to drop right there. Um but if it's something else, you know, that might take a while, then, you know, as far as like family, then look, it's like telling your family, okay, I have to, I have work, I have to study. If you're in school, it's like, I have to study for, you know, this amount of time right here. I need this block off. I need this. So it's stating your needs. So again, I know in a perfect world, that would be, um, yeah. In a perfect world, you know, you just have all the time in the world uh, to do things. But, you know, we have to work around schedules, especially if, you know, you're someone with children or something of that nature. All right. Yep, here we go with the solar plexus and then the base chakra. <clears throat> so this is... Uh, this is all about, you know, your security, you know, right here, the base chakra. Like I said, this is home base. This is the primary first base. It deals with, um, you know, the fears. It deals with our insecurities. It deals with our stability and thing, but just keeping us grounded, you know, with all these pentacles coming out, you know, like I said, it represents earth energy, but they all come out kind of in the reverse. So it's like somebody is just very ungrounded. So this is why <laughs> very ungrounded, but need to stand your ground. So need to stand your ground against, um, you know, maybe your own mindset, uh, Clearing out, like I said, clearing out situations or people or things that are not here helping you grow, then those need to go. Um, 
Yeah, because we need to work on our own, you know, working on our own uh, power center, our confidence, <clears throat> you know, right here. So our confidence and our security right there. So working on confidence, working on security. Then we have this four of cups. And then we have the temperance card in the reverse. So as I said, this temperance card talks about patience. It talks about balancing the energies and things. Um, you know, it could also talk about some kind of mental instability. So whatever is going on here, this is, you don't want something that's going to mess with your, in, your mental instability. And I just feel, and especially with Capricorns, um, because Capricorns are all about, you know, the coins and it's like, okay, we got to work. We got to make this money. And no, it's not all about that, but you know, that, is, that is, um, you know, a lot of, uh, aspects dealing with the Capricorn and things of that nature. So someone's financial status could be, Someone's financial status might not be exactly where they need to be, but it might not be there because they're not focused and they're not working on what it is they need to do. But that uh, the the finances or whatever that might be going on with it, that could be, um, like I said, that's security. So this is messing with someone's security, which in turn throws off their confidence and things and maybe just making them think, okay, well, maybe I'm not good enough or maybe I'm not, you know, this or that or how do I get this? So, <clears throat> you know, somebody is being, somebody... I was looking at this four of cups. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of zoned out. But um, I wanted to say with this four of cups, though, it's, it's stubborn. Okay, somebody's being stubborn. Uh, being stubborn, being stubborn. Okay, no longer being, we can't be stubborn, uh, Capricorn. I know we earth signs and everything here, but we cannot be stubborn. We have to... Um, Focus. We have to focus because, again, this is our livelihood. This is whatever this is that's coming up. Um, you know, pretty much just our security. Um, so we need to make sure that our foundation is set. So someone needs to really focus on the foundation. And here we go. Prosperity begins. So look, once you start focusing and once you start applying that energy um, that you might be expelling to other things once you start putting that um, towards what it is that you need to be doing or that you want to be doing, then that's when things begin to grow. That's when we have new opportunities. That's when money starts flowing in. That's when, um, you know, the good shit happens. But it's going to take moving on. As I said, we're going to have to move on from some situations or something. We move on from some situations in order to allow space for other things. Here we go with this justice card. Nope, it, in the reverse. It might not seem fair, but that's just the way that it is, okay? <laughs> King of uh, Cups in the reverse. Um... Yeah, with this, again, more balance with this justice card, you know, the that's actually funny because it equates with this card, <laughs> you know, right there, this one. But as I said, yeah, things may not seem fair. Things may seem unjust or someone may feel as if they didn't receive the, um, you know, maybe some type of recognition of some sort that they maybe deserved. And maybe this is why they were still kind of dealing with this shadow aspect. Like I said, they were still looking for something or still waiting for something. I wanted to receive something, um, receive some kind of fairness. And this is why they just had a hard time with just really dropping this or putting some things on the back burner. But right now this is saying that yeah it might not seem fair but the thing is you have to be fair to yourself so if someone or something or whatever the circumstance may be may not be treating you fairly then at least be fair to yourself enough to say okay i have things in front of me i'm going to stand my ground i'm going to work on um you know 
clearing out some energy and clearing out some old parts of me that I need to work on. And um, that's what we're going to do in order to remain balanced. That's what we're going to do in order to uh, bring stability, bring money, bring whatever, you know, health. You know, just more additional wealth to this situation. So if it takes moving on, which, yeah, it might seem a bit fair, unfair in some ways, especially if you felt as if you did not receive anything or receive something, you know, I'm getting that, then that's okay. You make up for that in other ways. Put that focus into you. Put that focus into your projects, whatever you have going on. And... um. Don't, how do I want to say this? Don't allow yourself to, uh, I'm hearing like pessimistic. Like I said, I, we can become bitter sometimes when we don't get our way or when we don't receive the compensation or the fairness that we would have hoped for. So it makes us just become a bit uh, jaded in ways. This is saying, you know, Prosperity is coming, health, wealth, joy, all of that is everything is coming. Things are going to be growing, but just remain diligent and remain focused to, on yourself, moving on, um, not looking at things in a pessimistic view. So I hope that helps Capricorn. <laughs> all right. This video is entirely too long. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.